This morning I'm here to confirm that the uh, young lady who lost her life tragically in Surface Paradise last year, last night, um, was a 17-year-old woman from Brisbane. Um, this morning I have met with their family. I have been with, with the young lady's mother and father. Uh, we won't be releasing the identity, her identity at this stage. The family are deeply traumatised, as you would expect, and they're asking us to respect their privacy. That is what a very difficult time for them. Similarly, it's not our intention at this stage to request the parents to identify her school uh, until everyone's had an opportunity to be advised. Uh, whilst I was with the parents this morning, um, friends had started to arrive and we're offering them comfort. So it's been a very tragic night for all of us uh, and it's put a very dark cloud over what has been a very successful schoolies event. Our message tonight or today is for the rest of the evening is that the schoolies stick with the campaign that we had. Look after yourselves, look after your mates, stay together and be careful. It's our hope that the schoolies will tonight enjoy their last night as best they can, but do so in a safe manner. We particularly ask that any schoolies who want to celebrate tonight on their balconies of their, of their units, they do so carefully, that they stay away from the balconies and uh, that they take care of themselves and others at that location. Uh, as of this morning, the arrests for schoolies numbers are the same as they were last year. And until the events of last night, this had been a very, very good schoolies. And for most of the, the uh, people that were there, uh, they were having a great time. I, I was very fortunate to be, have, be a part of a walk around on Monday night and to see so many young people enjoying themselves the way they were. Uh, it was just a great thing to see. Thank you. Questions? How will your investigation proceed? Uh, the investigation will, uh, will proceed as we would normally in any other circumstance. We will prepare a report for the coroner and um, a coroner will obviously make a determination as to the cause of death. Are you seen now though conducting their investigations at the hotel? Uh, no, we've, we've gone from the hotel at the moment. What we are doing today is trying to locate and interview a number of people who may have been witnesses to the event who can help us fill in some pieces that we still don't know. What do you know so far? It's difficult to say, but um, other to say that we believe that the death is non-suspicious. It's really not appropriate to comment uh, as to the circumstances leading up to the young lady's death. They will be matters for the coroner to consider. Did she fall from uh, a unit? From, from yeah, she's fallen from the 26th floor of the Chevron Renaissance building. Is that their own unit? Yes, we believe so. For the last event, I can't comment at this stage, really. We, we have to prepare a report for the coroner, and we've still got our investigations going. There's a lot of people we need to speak to, as you would imagine. Um, each and every one of these schoolies have so many friends, and they talk to so many people, so there's a lot, of, lot more work we still have to do, and it would really be inappropriate to make further comment. Have you managed to speak to people who are staying with her? Quite a number of her friends have been spoken to. Um, but having said that, there's a much broader and wider group of people that we need to speak to and try and piece together all of her last nine murders. You said it was not suspicious, so um, how did you establish that with the people present? No, no. She, um, just through our investigations to date, we've been able to establish uh, a number of things which I'm not at liberty to discuss, really. Did you say if there were people in the actual unit when it happened? No, there weren't. She was on her own. Yes. So I missed that she was on her own? Yes, she was on her own. Was she staying with anyone in that unit? It's my understanding that yes, she was sharing that unit with other people. Uh, were, ha were there many witnesses? Do you, have you spoken to many? Do you expect to see many more or many people around? It's my understanding at this stage we've identified about six people who have actually witnessed the fall uh, from various locations. There may well be many others too and uh, we're hopeful to speak to some of those people today. Where did she fall to? She fell into a garden area at the Chevron Renaissance Hotel. Was that on a floor that had a pool? Or? On the fifth floor, yes. So, how were police alerted? Was it a witness that alerted police? Was it one of those six people? That's my understanding, yes. Obviously a number of people actually saw the fall. Uh, they've gone to the location and police and emergency services have responded as a consequence of calls. Certainly we we're providing counselling at the moment to uh, a large group of people who are involved in the response uh, to the incident. Um, we wouldn't at this stage be providing counselling to those. Uh, we will probably assist 
wherever we can to steer people in the right direction for those who need counselling. And I'm sure there'll be quite a number of people who have been terribly traumatised by this event. Will police consider in future trying to prevent schoolies accessing balconies during schoolies week? That's almost impossible. Most of the um, schoolies accommodation is high-rise accommodation. Most of that accommodation has balconies. It's always one of our greatest fears, and of course, and the message we had before school is was, you know, be careful on the balconies, look after your mates, and uh, it's one that we've always been concerned about. Uh, and our message is, will, and always will be, you know, be careful on those balconies, stay away from the rails. I wonder how much um, alcohol might play a part in this. No, I really have no idea at all, I'm afraid. Do you have other similar deaths? Before, I can't remember if there's been any similar other balcony call deaths at school. I am aware of one balcony fall about 10 years ago, um, but I'd suggest that uh, there may not have been any since, that, is, that are particularly associated with schoolies. She was alone. I mean, how important is that for schoolies to, I guess, stick together, you know, that message about staying, staying together, never sort of leaving your mates go off by themselves? That message is really critical for us. We, we want the schoolies to have a great time, but we want them to do it together. We want them to stay safe and look after each other. And that was their message, and that was their message right from the start. So uh, we continue with that message and implore kids tonight to look after each other and, and stick together. Are you able to say if alcohol or drugs played a part in this at all? No, I'm not. Sorry. How difficult has it been for you to get witnesses to come forward? Have you had many people come to you with information? Yeah, we've certainly had a lot of people who have come forward. Um, and they're we would probably think or suggest that there have been quite a number of people who may have seen something or part of it or all of it uh, who haven't come forward. So a part of what we'll do today will be going to, to that location and seeking the assistance of people who are staying in the location. Was the hotel full? Were, were, the, were there lots of people around? I really don't know. But um, at that time of the night, you suggest that a large proportion of the young people would have been down at the beach, down at the hub, as they normally are. Um, it's a bit of a throng at times. People are coming and going. Um, young people tend to move between accommodation houses and visit friends and or go down to the hub or just go for a walk so it's um, it's difficult to say just how many people were at that location at that time. And I know you said she was staying with a number of people, can you tell us how many people that girl was staying with in that unit? It's my understanding that she was sharing a, a unit with one other person. Another girl? I believe so, yes. That girl was a family member, a cousin? Not that I know of, no. And was she out elsewhere? Was she at that I, I really don't know where she was. I, I can't comment on that. I'm sorry. And is she okay? How did she go? Um, I don't know personally, but I'd probably suggest to you that she'd be quite traumatised by this event, as are so many other of the young people that stay in that location. And it will probably just descend a cloud upon the whole schoolies event. Um, whilst they come from many different backgrounds and schools, they are really one together when you see them down there and this will impact on all of those young people, I'm sure. A tragedy like this, does it make you reconsider holding schoolies? Um, no, this, this is really a, a singular tragic event. Uh, and I have to say that uh, the whole event is well organised, it's well run, and it's pleasing. Uh, only the other night, the number of people, the young people come up to us and say, thanks for looking after us, it's great to see you here, we feel really safe. And uh, it's really heartening to see that. And that's, that's what many of the young people are about. They're just there to have a good time. Uh, it's unfortunately that from time to time we do have you know, a small number arrested overnight. But they have a very small proportion of the actual school leavers that are there. Is there anything police could have done, do you think, to prevent this or to try and prevent similar things from happening in the future? In this particular case, absolutely not. No. Did you say what time ago? Uh, about 9.30. Is there any specific incident um, that led her to, to be in that room by herself that was leading up to it? I really can't comment on that. That'll be matters for the coroner to consider. Um, and it's in, in, inappropriate to discuss the lead up to her tragic death. Six other people that you identified, did you say that they saw something or you, you just want to talk to them for something? No, we understand that there have been six people who actually saw the fall, actually witnessed the fall, yes. Is that because they were on the floor that um, she fell to? Or? I'm not sure of that, but. Um, I think that some of them may have been on other other balconies and actually saw saw the fall. Yes. Witness the entire event. Some some people actually witness the entire event, not partial, not just partial. I believe that to be the case. Do you know when you might release her name <coughs> and which school she was from? 
Um, that will be a matter for family. Um, they're obviously trying to contact lots of friends and relatives and let them know. Um, other, other family members were only contacted earlier this morning when I was with the family. So that process is going on and we really need to respect their privacy. Um, they are a very personal and private family and the message that I've got from the parents this morning is please respect that privacy. Okay, thank you. Two schoolies taken away in some sort of uh, involved drugs and ecstasy at a house in Broad Beach. Do you know too much more about that? No, I don't. Sorry. Obviously, those sorts of incidents of you know schoolies with drugs and alcohol and stuff we're trying to avoid in these sorts of matters as well. Yeah, look, it's really unfortunate that there are a very small proportion of schoolies who uh, do spoil the event for themselves by using drugs and alcohol. Um, so that does happen. We don't deny that there have been drug arrests. But uh, tragically, as I say, a very, very small percentage. And if you go down there, you'll see that most of the kids are just having a great time enjoying themselves after they finish school. OK, thank you. There is so much debate, though, about, you know, uh, schoolies doing the wrong thing on balconies and things like that. Is that the case in this? Uh, no, look, anecdotally, I think in the past there might have been a lot of that sort of thing that went on. We've been quite strong in our message, and, and so have the accommodation providers about behaviour on balconies, about safety on balconies. And um, other than the one incident which has been you know, relayed in the media about the young fellow having a sleep on the balcony, there have been no incidents on balconies this year at all. It's been a really remarkable event. Sorry. There, was, there was no inappropriate behaviour on, balcony, on a balcony last night? No, no. Last night was, was a really quiet night, actually.